Namaste Mitron. Welcome back to Movie Community College. Maranam Tish Hay, the Warrior Queen. What's up everybody? How you doing? Namaste Miranam, Professor Hay, Apsi Milker Hushiwi. Is this on? Ah, <sighs> okay. Because it's what about to be on. Carolina Goswami, which state in India mm, is the best for foreigner visits? What do you think? What would you guess? Do you know any of the states? Um, Uttar Pradesh. Mm. Andhra Pradesh. Mm. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, oh, how do you pronounce it? Maharashtra? New Jersey. New Jersey. Is it Maharashtra? A lot of Indians in Is New that Jersey. how you pronounce it? That's what I'm going with. Okay. In most countries, travel and tourism is a major engine of economic growth, and India is no exception. It affects all segments of the society by creating large-scale employment and by positively affecting various sectors of the economy. In 2015, the number of international tourist mm. arrivals in India was more than 13 that million. Like a lot. In yeah. 2016, it was more than 14 million, out of which the number of foreign tourist arrivals was 8.8 .8 million and the number of NRI's arrivals was more than 5 million. In 2017, the number of foreign tourist arrivals crossed the 10 million mark. In 2016, uh, Tamil Nadu oh, had I was the most two. number of foreign tourists' visits, and Maharashtra. it was closely followed by Maharashtra. So close. I was going to say others. Globally, in 2016, of a the number of international close. tourist arrivals was more than 1.2 billion. Out of that, India's share was 1.18%. Here is a list of top 10 countries in terms of international tourist arrivals, right. and India yeah, is placed at 25th cares. position. Here is the share of India in international tourism receipts. India is placed at 13th position. According to a report by WTTC in 2016, travel and tourism directly and indirectly generated $208 billion and supported over 40 million jobs in India. India's travel and tourism sector is dominated by domestic travelers who accounted for 88% of the sector's contribution to GDP in 2016. And this massive flow of domestic tourists is visible in this table. In 2016, the total number of domestic tourists in India was over 1.6 billion. Tamil Nadu, which is on top in foreign tourist visits, is also ahead of every other state in India when it comes to domestic tourist visits. India's rank has been constantly improving in the Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. In 2017, India was placed at 40th position as compared to 52nd in 2015 and 65th in 2013. Pretty sure Italy is going to be down there. In 2016, yeah. India's travel and tourism sector grew by 8.5%, which was the fastest among the G20 countries. And it is expected that by 2025, foreign tourist arrivals in India will reach 15.3 million. It is expected that passenger traffic at Indian airports will cross 400 million people by 2020. And that is why the Airports Authority of India is aiming to start operating 250 airports before that. There is no surprise that international oh, sure. hotel brands are targeting India too. Bear Gruen Hotels, Hilton, Marriott International, Carlson Group, all are looking to increase their number of hotels in India. That. India is a land of unlimited opportunities. Its 29 states, 7 union it's territories, 4,000 cities and 600,000 villages have a lot of hidden potential and many of them are not fully explored and discovered. The monkey running due to its the massive size and due to its highly diversified weather, India is a 365 days destination. Medical and wellness tourism, cruise tourism, adventure tourism, heritage tourism, eco-tourism, film tourism, pilgrimage tourism, golf tourism, polo tourism, India has it all. Northeast region of India has eight states. Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura, and Sikkim. These eight states are said to be India's hidden gems. Their unique tribal cultures, striking flora and fauna, music and folk dance, 
and indigenous sports can easily tempt any traveler. Mountains, deserts, rainforests, islands, volcano, salt flats. India is greatly diversified. I firmly believe that as a tourist oh, yeah. destination, India is still very yeah. underestimated. But thanks to the emergence of social media and to India's rapidly growing economy, the future is indeed very promising. By 2027, the sector's total contribution to GDP is expected to grow to 424 billion US dollars and by 2030, India is expected to be ranked among the top five business travel yeah, markets. Well, it all sounds pretty favorable, but there is something that is equally important, and that is safety and security. Here is a list of top 10 source countries where India gets its foreign tourists from. It is visible that India gets a lot of visitors from the US and the UK. Now, let's check how safe India is for the citizens of these two countries. I would hope so. Here is a list of the foreign countries in which the most American civilians were killed yeah, I between October that. 2009 and June Finally. 2016. I, I'm not India is that. nowhere in the list. And here is a list of the countries in which the highest number of British people were killed between 2012 Pakistan, and August yeah. 2015. Yeah. Oh, not surprised. Again, mm. India is nowhere in the list. Through my movies, I have been trying to help those who are misinformed about India. I have been neutralizing the false news by highlighting the truth and by bringing out lesser known facts. I live in India and I have already brought a lot of tourists to my new home. There is no surprise that almost all of them want to keep coming back. My journey in India is never going to stop and through my movies I will continue to share my stories with you. Tourism is a significant source of foreign exchange earnings and up to one-tenth of global GDP and jobs are tourism related. Tourism has great capacity to bring human prosperity. <clears throat> it creates opportunities for a positive cultural exchange and it strengthens people-to-people -people relations. It helps in poverty eradication and it brings socio-economic benefits for those at the bottom of the pyramid. Directly or indirectly, travel and tourism brings empowerment to all sections of the society. It creates large-scale employment by increasing the demand for unskilled, semi-skilled and skilled workers. Every tourist who comes to India presents multiple possibilities which are visible and invisible. There are many who come as tourists, but end up becoming partners in business and trade. Those who have a good time often come back and revisit. If they can't revisit, they often end up sending others. India has a beautiful national tourism policy uh, like that mm -hmm. wants to ensure that the tourists to India get like physically Asian. invigorated, mentally rejuvenated, culturally enriched, spiritually oh, elevated, mm -hmm. and feel India from that within. Looks like Goswami. Didn't it? Looks like it. See you again. Very nice. Um, obviously, India and America have a lot in common when it comes to um, freedom, liberty, um, the the fact that we are democratic nations we both rely on tourism both countries do and um in our state in particular here in arizona grand canyon we are um very reliant on tourism <clears throat> excuse me on tourism here and um so we understand when she's talking about what it can do for the economy um absolutely if you don't have tourism and you are heavily reliant on it that can be difficult so it's important to um to diversify and have other things that will also draw money to your economy so um business is key in that as well but tourism is certainly an important factor tourism 
Who's going to Pakistan for a vacation? Who? Yeah. Who? I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Let's go to Karachi. Let's Babe, not. Babe, let's go to Karachi. Let's not. Nice okay. romantic dinner. Bye, friends. Bye. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And please check out our internet radio station, DarkSkyRadio.com. Again, that's DarkSkyRadio.com. We got great talk shows. We play some music. You will be thoroughly entertained. Peace and much love.